Honorable Chancellor Sir, I have the pleasure to invite Abdurrahman Bari, who is the 2020-2021 valedictorian, to read the valedictory address for December 2020 and 2020 graduating classes of the University of the Gambia. Abdurrahman Bari, please. By the way, Abdurrahman Bari is the overall best graduating student. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic and Chancellor of the University of the Gambia, Mr. Adam Abaro. Your Excellency, the Vice President, Dr. Isa Chuchuru. Honorable Speaker of the National Assembly, my Lord Chief Justice, Secretary General and Head of the Civil Service, Honorable Ministers here present, Honorable members of the National Assembly, Excellencies, members of the Diplomatic and Consular Corps, Chief Service, Service Chiefs, Chairman and members of the University Governing Council, distinguished invited scholars and vice chancellors from sister universities, venerable religious leaders, staff and students of the university, distinguished guests, fellow graduates, members of the media. I am extremely humbled by the honor placed on me as the valedictorian of the class of 2021. It is a big feeling to be here today. I came from a family with almost no history of higher education. My loving parents have never been to school. What is called a school was new for us. I didn't have a formula or history to go back on. So as the first generation to go to school, I had to figure it all out on my own. The prospects of a quality education seems far. But like the saying goes, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a step. I saw an opportunity to change the course of history and thus the dream of a quality education was born. Moving swiftly on some years later, I have not only achieved my dream of a quality education from the University of the Gambia, but here I stand to give the valedictory address for my class. As my former dream would say, education is the road to freedom. I could not be prouder of how far I have come. The journey has been tough, but it was worth it. Fellow graduates, for the, past, for the past four years, we shared the same journey to further the course of our educational goals. In this process, we have become brothers, sisters, husbands, wives, and best of friends. We have inspired one another to pursue our academic goals with seriousness, and we have given our all to this passion. We have spent sleepless nights to prepare for our tests and exams and to keep up with deadlines. Finally, we have reached the place where we will the benefit of hard work. And yes, we have done it. You all have earned the right to cheer for this success today. Our education at UTG was not one-sided. There is also another side to our struggle. It was not all about giving books and assignments. There were fun moments too. We will not forget the wonderful extracurricular activities, student weeks in Canada and due to the neighboring countries. We have meaningfully spent our student life in Fiji. Friends that will last a lifetime are what we have made together. My Fiji experience is the best part of my life so far. 
and I can say with the same for many of my fellow graduates. Emotional also experience is home, but UDG has taught us we can always make lemonade from the lemons that life has thrown at us. Fellow graduates, you deserve all the praise for this milestone. You have put a lot of hard work and sacrifice into your studies. It was never an easy ride. We all faced challenges. For some of us, the challenge was, the challenge was finance. For some, it was health. And for others, it was juggling school and job together. All of which made the attainment of this goal difficult and special. These were all trials and tribulations that we had to go through to make it here today. It was difficult for all of us as we dug deep to find the inspiration to continue on this path, but our resolve to attain our goals has proven to be far stronger than many obstacles we have faced. Whether it is traveling one mile to attend lectures, the prayer to some of the assignments on time, or taking top exams. Time and time again, we show firm commitment to our academic endeavors and a drive for excellence. So here we are today, standing tall and proud of all our accomplishments. That we all made it here today is a testimony that we all have broken barriers and we are all capable beyond measure. Let us take this as, an, as a sign that we can accomplish greater things in the future and go after our goals without fear of failure. Chancellors are, this class is very ready for development. I can say with confidence that this class is no stranger to challenges. One of the deadliest pandemics in the modern history is happening at the same time as we just got our degrees. It has forced us to learn within the confines of our homes, miles away from any library or friends, much to our dream. But that did not deter us from going after our dreams. We face the challenges with resilience and courage to emerge victorious. For all of us, this is not how we envisioned our university lives would go. But we have also embraced it like champions we are. And we have come out on the other side stronger than ever before, the little face challenges of the world. COVID-19 may have brought us of some quality time together, but it has helped to bring out these important qualities of ours, which are resilience, courage, and determination. On this note, I want to sincerely thank the University Management for making sure that we did not miss out on the important education that we came to see during this time of great uncertainty and panic. We all received a non dynamic education despite the challenges caused by COVID. The University of Gambia, through the dynamic leadership of the management and staff, adjusted themselves up to the challenge by venturing into online classes for all students in the university, which undoubtedly is the reason we are here to celebrate this milestone today instead of 2024 or 2025. So on behalf of the graduating class of 2021, I extend our sincere thanks to you for the foresight and leadership that you have shown in these difficult times. I would like to extend similar thanks to the government of the Gambia through MOHAS for offering scholarships to the vast majority of students in the university to pursue their dreams of higher education, some of whom are among those graduating today. Thank you for investing heavily in the future of this country. I implore you to continue supporting students in their academic endeavors by making tuition fees more affordable and by providing services such as fast internet connection and clean class in all campuses to help make the experience of university education much less difficult for students in our noble institution. Fellow graduates, today is the end of an important journey in our lives, but it is the beginning of a new one. And in this degree today does not mean that all of our problems will disappear or fade away into thin air. But it means that we can confront all of our problems knowing that we are adequately prepared. In the coming months and years, life will ask tough questions to each and every one of us. 
In fact, we will face setbacks that will test our limits and patience. My advice is do not relent in the face of such adversity, but trust in yourself and know that you have all that it takes to overcome whatever challenges that may come your way. Know that your potential is limitless. When you face failure, as it is sometimes inevitable, find courage within yourself to get up and try again. It is only through repeated trials that we develop the maturity that it takes to accomplish the impossible. So be bold, be strong, the future is now. When you achieve house that is success, always remember to share your blessings with those who are less fortunate. We are all better off when everyone around us succeeds as well. We should endeavor to open the doors of opportunities to those who will come after us and inspire the next generation with lots of good examples. Let us avail ourselves of forces that are much bigger than our individual dreams, because it is true that we will realize our true meaning and purpose in life. So class of 2021, I know you will achieve great things in your respective fields, and UTG will be proud to have produced such wonderful ambassadors. I wish you every success in your next journey. So I say to you, in the words of my Angelo, just like the sun, just like dust, just like air, we will rise. Finally, finally, I cannot conclude without thanking all those who have contributed to our successes. As Sir Isaac Newton once said, if I could see far, it's because I stood on the shoulders of giants. On this, on this note, I would like to extend my sincere thanks to the faculty and staff of the University of the Gambia for delivering quality education and for saving us to become, to become responsible and productive citizens. You all have certainly upon your shoulders for us to climb, even at the expense of your labor. We cannot repay your kindness, so thank you. To the lecturers of the School of Arts and Sciences, especially the Department of Mathematics, I cannot forget you. Thank you for all the support that you have rendered to me and my colleagues during the last four years. Your advice and encouragement have been our driving force and your patience our source of comfort. Finally, Finally, to the people who made it all possible, my family. Special thanks to my mom, without whose sacrifices I would not have been here today. She was my sole comforter when things didn't go my way. She was never tired of listening to my complaints. I cannot count the joy and blessings that being your son has brought to me. So thank you, mom. To my father, Thank you for the outstanding pieces of advice and for being caring. I wish you long life so that you can witness more achievements like this one. To my brothers and sisters, Amadou, Bari, Mariama Bari, Fatima Sou, Aminata Bari, and Ibrahim Bari, I am grateful for the unconditional support. Okay? To my friends, I say thank you for the encouragement and support. So congratulations, class of 2021. Thank you, class valedictorian. May we please give him another warm round of applause. Thank you. Thank you very much. We now come the next on the, on the program is the ceremony for the award of excellence. Now, these awards are presented to the graduates who have achieved the highest academic standing in their respective programs of study. December 2020 cohort, 